Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review a MIUI port. Yes, it is MIUI TR 12.5. The Android version used in this particular port is Android 10 and I am using the latest Starlight kernel. The default kernel comes with this port is on Unitrix. So let us begin the review of the ROM. First of all, let us look at some customization which the port is offering. Let's go to notification and control center then take the status bar. Well as you can see, we can arrange the status bar into three different layouts. We can arrange it default, center clock or AOSP. And these are the couple of the options which are offered uh, to customize the status bar. That's really great. And let's go back again. And in home screen we ha are having such options again it's normal and we all have seen it now to talk about the port well most of, of the apps are updated as you can see over here if we take file manager we get the latest user interface from the file manager and if you want to install a new application as an example let me go over here let me uh, install google pdf viewer viewer as you can see even the installation app installation uh, user interface has changed a lot i mean we all have seen it but still it's more refined now so this is the way um, the app installation user interface works now and if you go further over here you can enable security check if you want and these all are the options that are available over here and let's take a look at the messages you user interface well um, i cannot really show you any messages as of now since i'm having um, a weird coverage area for airtel in my uh, in my area so this is not possible again if you go to the dialer the new there is a new user interface for the dialer too and as you can see even the pages look a bit different i'm using the stock theme in this particular um, particular room the notes section well um, even the notes section it has changed a, a bit so let's look by um, adding a note so yeah start typing okay fine so let's uh, do a, a review let's set it like that and let's see how it is looking like okay so even you can arrange it by different colors and um, different themes are being given so yeah you can you can set different colors and different styles for your note which also works great that's 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 cool yeah so yeah as you can see a lot more um, themes are being offered in the notes section so really the app has been updated by the porter so that's even uh, that's also cool well here i have removed a couple of applications such as screen recorder um miui health which which i don't even use so you can see that some apps are missing so let's have a look at the calculator again the calculator is having the traditional layout so there is nothing new in it and let's go back again yeah even the folder has blur effect and as you can see that there is a little bit of shadow in the icons which can be um, enabled from the home screen setup so really that's even wonderful let's uh, take a look at the compass even compass is having um, the traditional layout so there is nothing new in it um, clock well clock also i guess yeah the same layout and the further i mean if you want a little bit more change there is a tremendous change in the op vault section it is not the traditional op vault which you are getting with this particular port but you can see that the applications or the op vault uh, is now arranged in a card like manner which remains of ios well yeah and it's really cool too as you can see that there are a couple of applications over in the top section you can you get the um, cleaner card you get a clock widget which reminds of ios ui and you get a weather card over here a lot of things have changed i mean this is a really good change and it's really useful for the daily use um, the scrolling is really smooth in this rom and overall the performance is satisfactory I, i'm not telling satisfactory but it's great 
and let us have a look at the battery performance well this is the battery performance that i got i have booted this rom or i flashed this rom yesterday and i cannot really give you a proper um, a proper battery history since i have not used it for a very long time since we have a power outage i have even enabled the battery saver so i cannot really tell you um, the perform the battery battery wise performance of this particular rom the other changes which i have noticed is under the security um, section well um, the ui is same but there is a, a little bit change here and there as you can see if you go to cleaner there is a small user interface change over here so yeah everything looks great and this is how the security scan works there is a small uh, kind of ui change over here so um, battery yeah again it goes to the battery section um overall i mean couple of words about my experience in this particular port the port is really good and i would like to thank the porter of this particular uh, particular port and he did a great job i mean vince is alive with him and um, yeah really everything works fine and everything is perfect scrolling is smooth etc uh, etc et if you want to have a little bit of battery you can always go for um, starlight kernel so um, really guys it's worth to uh, to give a try and about the play store certification let's have a look at the play store certification or yeah let's take a look at from play store itself let's have a look settings let's have a look. yeah even the play store is certified in this particular port uh, you have to enable magic magisk hide if you want to get the play store certification so that's only one drawback uh, that i have noticed apart from that the rom is pretty fine and its performance is decent so it's worth to have a try once again thank you for watching let's talk by george i hope you have enjoyed the video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any further updates